ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? As we call for class number 198, the Tennessee Walkers World Grand Championship. Uh, the spotlight hit the entry gate as we get ready to welcome our contenders in individually tonight. Brian Perry, how about a little flat walk boogie? Uh, Larry Bright wrote this song just for this occasion, the anthem of the Walking Horse Nation. He played it first in the big oval, and now it's the tradition here for celebration. Brian Perry with the flat walk boogie, our anthem to herald in our World Grand Championship stage. Our first of six contenders, here's entry 517, a big honor. Ryan Blackman is in the iron for Dwight Hopper. Martin Cox and Jennifer Bingham of Foreman in London, Kentucky. A big honor and Ryan Blackburn. Number 669 is Jose's Revival. Stacey Wright is in the eyes and campaigns the entry for Billy and Debbie Woods of Lexington. Jose's Revival and Stacey Wright. Number 725 is Joe Paul. Wendy Gruber is in the eye for Brian and Bonnie Strickland and the St. Porterfield family of Easley, South Carolina and Murfreesboro. Joe Paul and Wendy Gruber. Number 922 is Justified Honor. John Allen Calloway is in the iron for Lisa Bob of Shelbyville. Justified Honors and John Allen Calloway. Number 11 of the three is Jim Shadow. Jimmy McConnell in the iron for Aaron Witherspoon of Murfreesboro. Jim Shadow and Jimmy McConnell.
Number 1272 really goes. Danny Lawrence can paint the injury for his back, and Allie Gibson of Tuscumbia, Alabama, really goes to Danny Lawrence, 1272. Ladies and gentlemen, would you give a welcoming round of applause to our World Grand Championship contenders tonight. <laughs> Chairman of the Celebration Board of Directors, David Crowell, will spin the wheels to determine our call judge for the class. Why is that call judge important? We drop the high and low scores, get points to the three remaining scores. If it's tied then, then all the scores count, all five of them. If it's still tied, then it goes to the call judges. But there have been instances, even in the last few years, where the call judges card is the one that decided the champion. So we randomly spin the wheel for every championship to determine the call judge. That's a wheel of fortune spin. I mean, we're still going. Judge Sorrell will be the call judge for the class. All right, riders. You've campaigned your entries. We've waited through a lightning delay, a rain delay. The time is here. This is your moment. Everybody on the rail, show it at a flat walk, please. We've been with Crown a World Grand Champion before we left tonight. We're going to do it. Everybody show it at a platform. Everybody all in reverse, it's showing at a flat walk, please.
All right, riders, it's running walk time. Let them walk on. Call on your championship defenders and show them at a running walk. Walk, please. Back to a flat walk. Now it's canter time. Show us the canter, please. All right, it's line up time, riders. We're going to line you up head to tail with you. Three of you on the west side, two of you over on the east side. Head to tail, three of you on the west side, and two of you on the east side. You can just head the way you're going right now. And line up three on the west, two on the east. All right, riders. All five of you, we're going to ask you to take the rail one more time. First play of the show ring at a flat walk. Uh, now or never. This is what it comes down to here on Saturday night. As we said before the class, one of these riders will never be the same. One of them will be our world grand champion for 2022. Just moments away from that selection and crowning that champion. You've seen them in their first workout. Those of you in the stands, you've got to park your cards a little earlier than our five judges. Now's the time that you need to make some decisions. Pick out who your favorite is in the class. They're riding hard for you, you cheer hard for them. All right, riders, take a deep seat now. Call on your championship contenders and ask them to show it a run and walk. It's run and walk time. Let them walk on. Walk, please. Back to a flat walk. Now reverse. Fourth annual celebration will be one for the history books. These five riders are riding to earn their place in those history books. They want to earn a paragraph or a page in our history of the 84th annual 2022 Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. As we've said several times, Bobby Sands really has given the best advice for this class. Riders, it's time to check your coattail, check your curb chain. This time to make sure you're sitting tight, looking right here on this Saturday night before Labor Day, like we've done the past 83 years. We're going to crown a world grand champion. Everybody on the reverse now and showing at a flat walk. All right, Shelbyville, you've got to let us know who you like. Let them know if you like them. I uh, make some noise for your favorite tonight. Who do you want to be our new world grand champion for 2022? Riders, one more time. 
time, Dega DC, call on your championship contenders and show them how to run and walk. It's run and walk time, let them walk on. champion to ride to your right please under the celebration spotlight all the way around the big oval keeping the rail on your left until you come to the east side that's where you'll find the winner's circle and all the aforementioned awards but the award you really want tonight is the title of being the Tennessee Walkers world grand champion for 2022 crowned here at the 84th annual Tennessee Walkers national celebration ladies and gentlemen our world grand champion is entry number 922 Justified Honor. Down Allen Galloway makes the winning ride for Lisa Baum of Shelbyville. Justified Honors and John Allen Galloway under our Saturday night spotlight claiming the World Grand Championship win. 
Last year is only a four-year-old. Just about honors that John Allen fell away with crown the Tennessee Wagonhorse World Grand Champion. This makes the third year in a row for John Allen Calloway to win this title as he rode Masters, Razzle, and Jazz to the title in 2020. Last Saturday night, he took home the World Championship title in the eight Stallions class. Justified honors, fired by honors and out of a line with Cash Mayor. Read by Dr. Robert Watkins, congratulations. Our 2021 and now 2022 World Grand Champion. All others to your right, please. The reserve world grand champion is 669, Jose Revival. Casey Wright for Billy and Debbie Woods of Lexington. Jose's Revival and Casey Wright, 669 is second. Third is 517, a big honor. Ryan Blackburn, Dwight Hopper, Martin Cox, and Jennifer Bingham of Corbin and London, Kentucky. A big honor and Ryan Blackburn, 517 is third. Fourth is 725, Joe Paul. Wakey Groover is in the iron. The entry is Ryan and Tanya Strickland at the St. Porterfield families of Easley, South Carolina and Murfreesboro. Wakey Groover and Joe Paul, 725 is fourth. Fifth is 1272, really coach. Jamie Lawrence up for Zach and Allie Gibson of South Columbia, Alabama. Really coach and Jamie Lawrence, 1272 is fifth. Dr. Jim and Lisa Baum and the Baum family to come to center ring, please. We're going to make the victory pass and then we'll do the presentation of the owner's trophy. Yes, tonight, that will be presented to themselves, so that shouldn't take very long. John Allen Calloway is part of an elite group of riders in the Tennessee Walking Horse history books. We're part of an elite group of folks who've gotten to witness back to back wins for the world grand champion. Ladies and gentlemen, join us in a celebratory moment in a World Grand Championship ride. Here's justified honor. John Allen Galloway makes the winning ride and campaigns the entry for Lisa Bob of Shelbyville. They wear the roses, they carry the tricolored World Grand Championship ribbon. All the symbols of supremacy within the Tennessee Walking Horse Kingdom. Ladies and gentlemen, two years in a row, it's justified honors and John Allen Galloway. Ladies and gentlemen, send them down the west side with a great round of applause. Now, John Allen, we're going to ask you to take a hard right turn and park in for the owner's presentation. We'll get a photo of the owners with you. While we do that, ladies and gentlemen, we want to say a huge thank you for being a part of our 84th Annual Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration and a part of our Saturday night here in Shelbyville. We hope you've enjoyed the show. I know we've had some delays and some difficulties, but it's been an exciting night and a good night for Tennessee Walking Horse Celebration and the Tennessee Walking Horse World. We thank you for being with us. The horses give us a horse show, but you give us the celebration. Drive safely on your way home. We look forward to seeing you back here in Shelbyville. We're always in it. Saturday night before Labor Day and starting 11 days before that. So go ahead and mark the days off and plan to be back here in Shelbyville. Drive safely tonight. Thank you for being with us.